Welcome to the stage, New Orleans blues legend, Little Freddie King! All right, yeah. Can't just ever pop. Freddy, Freddy, where you going? Going fox hunting, can't just ever pop. I'm going on. Again, man, I'm telling you, it's really, really, uh, really, really making my day and night to see you again. <laughs> oh, thanks. Because, oh. man, that's been two years ago. That was, yeah. You were right but up here on stage like yesterday, with two. Man, you're still looking the same. You're looking great. Now, I'm only 42. Now, oh. okay. Now, hold on. <laughs> now, now, Freddie, this summer you made 75, but right. yeah, that's a big deal. But. You wouldn't know it, seeing, seeing, why you just, what's your secret to staying so young? Well, actually what I do, I drink a lot of power aid, and I, <laughs> and I thank, thank God to give me strength to see the next day. All right, <laughs> yeah. So God and power aid. Power aid. Pa not Gatorade, but not power, Gatorade. Aid. power aid. Power aid. Power yeah. aid, Orange. The orange. Orange. Orange, okay, <laughs> remember that. Yeah. I'm only, I mean, that's, Okay, I want to, I want to, I want to make, I, you know, at 75, I want to be still dancing around like I do. That's so, true, that's right. I'm man. going to the store, I'm going to get cases of that orange power aid. Exactly. Yeah. So when you put the energy out, you won't feel it. You won't feel it, yeah. You, you just kind of just do, okay. Exactly. Now. But now once, excuse me, because you show once you make 75 now, 
and you do all that, get around that dancing and everything. Uh -huh. But now, see, like three o'clock the next morning, <laughs> then you'll feel the pain. You might have to get, <laughs> might have to get some Ben Gay or something. Else. Some Ben Gay, okay. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah, Ben Gay and Powerade. You know, Freddie. <laughs> Those aren't our sponsors. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they are now. Exactly. <laughs> now, I once heard that you have to suffer to play the blues. But, exactly. But man, I look at your life and, and you've been through a heck of a lot of suffering. Man, I'm telling you, it's really been amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing, something that like tornadoes and storms, you know, and hurricanes. Yeah, now, there, when you were first starting out, um, you used to play at this place called the Bucket of Blood. Exactly, what, that's right. Tell me what went on there. Well, actually, the first beginning of the place always was bad down there. And there a whole lot of fighting and shooting was going on. They uh -huh. used to call it the battlefield. Oh, okay. And so I was working a couple of blocks from there. Yeah. And so Willis said, uh, so man, they tell me that they hear you play up by Irene's bar, saying you play as good and you got a good band. I said, will you come play for me? I said, where you play is that? He said, right down the street, that bottle in Bedita. Uh-huh. I said, okay. I said, what's the name of it? He said, the Busy Bee. The Busy Bee, okay. It was the Busy Bee. Yeah. I said, okay, man. I said, I go down there and give it a trial. I said, I ain't too good, but I do the best I can. So I went down there and played it Friday night. And man, man, here's the guy comes in there and pulls half the other guy's head off with a baseball bat. Oh my God. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was the Friday night. <laughs> oh my God, there's more? It goes back to Saturday night. You went back after that. Went back Man, Saturday you're brave. Night, and the lady comes in and cut the oven, stabbed her in the back and cut her up real bad. She fell off the stool and blood was going out with your way. Oh, jeez. Here come the paramedics and police and everything. And here I was making my little getaway to my safe place behind the record player. <laughs> <laughs> so I was small I could get behind yeah, the record Yeah, well, good player. thing. You know, the record player was my, my protection. <laughs> and so he said, man, so how you like your job? I said, well, the job is all right, but the place, you got to name the wrong thing. And it ain't got to be named the Busy Bee. That's the wrong name. He said, why? He said, I said, name it the Bucket of Blood. I give it that name because the blood is <laughs> shed in here every night that I play here. <laughs> oh, man. So you're lucky to make it out in one piece. And really lucky that the jukebox was really my helper. Yeah. So you got the jukebox when you're young, and now you got the Powerade. Right. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I got old. All right. I like that. I, now, <laughs> I've heard that you've actually been, tell me if this is true, that you were shot at. Shot five times. A sweet, a sweet person five like you. Five times by my wife. Your wife? Oh, my, my God. Wife. Your ex-wife or you? No, common law wife. Common law wife. Are you all still together? No, she passed away, but okay. we were. Oh, wow, you lived through that. Yeah, she, she had to babysit me and nourish me back to health. Oh, After, wow. after what did you got what, out of jail. What the heck did you, wait a minute. What the heck did you do to deserve getting shot? I mean. <laughs> well, actually, how I got shot was uh, jazz fest time. Okay. So uh, when David said, Freddie said, uh, you better come and get your deposit check. I said, because I'm going to, out in Houston, Texas, and I'll be gone for a while. And you won't get your money until you perform. He said, I won't be back until Jazz Fest Day. I said, okay, I passed by there and I'll pick up your check. Yeah. So I got off of my other job and goes by there and pick my check up. So the office is right there on Governor Nichols and Ramport. Upstairs, yeah, right. Over uh -huh. Dot and yeah. uh, Tony's bar. So I goes upstairs there uh -huh. and get my check, and so the bar downstairs, I used to get my liquor. On oh, credit, credit okay. Through the week. Okay. So I goes upstairs and get my check up there and come downstairs. So I paid Tony off, and every time I pay him, he'd give me another fifth. Ah. Uh. 
And so he gives me this fifth. I hasted a lick, you know, and so had a friend of mine, Joe. So he worked on the rural front also. That's why I met him, and I thought he was a friend of mine. He gets on the phone and he calls up his wife, Vicky. She worked at Ruth Cozy Corner, which is about five blocks from there, and one block from my house. Uh huh. And so she, he thought I was going to pull a trick and tell his wife that he was down there with his woman. Oh, no. <laughs> he turns around and says, Freddie, you want some drink? I said, No, man, I don't want it. I got a whole flip tone to give me. And I see him on the, on the phone, you know. During that time, they had the wall phone. Right, the right, yeah, 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 yeah. And his old dad just, yeah. just jaw jacking, you know, just jaw jacking. And so, Vicky and my wife was good friends. She gets on the oh. telephone, she calls her up. She said, Amy, you better get your so and so out there right now because, and get down there, say your husband down there buying all the women's money and buying them drinks and everything, giving away money. And that, that threw the fat in the fire right there. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> oh. And so I leave out of there right quick, you know, so I head on home. So, you know, when you're drinking alcohol, you're going to have to use the bathroom soon. <laughs> <laughs> so I run around the corner and run up in Birch right quick and use the bathroom. And she said, Cal, run in, up in there in the kitchen inside the house and called Amy, and that was Bert's good friend too, my wife was. He said, you better get down here, Freddie down here with a pocket full of money, and saying, and he gonna buy everybody some drink. I said, get over here. And you know the lie always go faster than the truth does. Yes. <laughs> so, oh boy, so I leave out of Bert's, and they done called down there and told her too. So she said, I'm not coming out, I'm cooking. You know, I got what you said way out the wood after everything had happened. So I'm cooking, I'm not going to stop and cut my food off and come down there just to see what's going on. So I get to one, one block from my house to Ruth Cozy Corner. And so I shoot in there and use the bathroom and so that Joe's wife's in there. She had a bad mouth. She said, why so and so are you going? You already drunk. I said, I'm going to use the bathroom. And I come out the bathroom and say, you got to tell me what you want to drink. I know what you want to drink. And she was, I had already jumped on the phone and said, get down here right now. Amy said, he's in here. So, and so before I could get out the bathroom, she comes in the, the Robinson Street side. Uh-huh. And I come in through the Ursuline Street side. Yeah. So I go and that's, when, that's when it went down? Right. Right, right there. Oh, at, man. At roof corner corner. So I come and took, the, took my shot and come out the door. And I come out <laughs> the Ursuline Street side. Yes. And I yep. hadn't bought anybody anything at all. Yeah. And show you how the devil do things. Yeah. Times I open the door and put my foot on the front top step to leave out. Had Francis standing there. And Charles' wife, a friend of mine from Magnolia, Mississippi. He said, Mr. Freddie, would you do me a favor? I said, Francis, according to what it is. I said, what, what can I do? So, well, there's, so there's a lot of people involved in this story. <laughs> <laughs> so when you got shot by your wife, I bet you cut down on your drinking a little bit, and right? I had to. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I had to. Well, Freddie, we're, I'm glad you're still here. You Man, survived the bucket man. of blood. Right. <laughs> you survived getting shot by your wife. Exactly. Um, <laughs> do y'all want to hear him play another song? <laughs> <laughs> you hear that, Freddy? Oh, yeah. Love me like I love you. Let's get 
get together and have a little fun. Walk with Freddy, you got to walk with the king, got to do a little thing every time it rains. You got to mighty hold out, you got to mighty hold out, you got to mighty hold out. Say you love me. together and have blue Thank you.